From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. On the banks of the Ganges River, women pray to the gods in the name of good health and prosperity for their husbands. Being a widow here is like a death sentence. In some parts of India, widows commit sati, throwing themselves on their husband's funeral pyre in an act of self-immolation. No woman will do that, leaving her children behind. Dr. Mohini Giri is a human rights activist. She labored for four decades, fighting for these invisible, forgotten women. There was one widow who was lying dead on the streets. And the vultures were coming and eating her flesh. Dogs were coming there. And the people were walking past it, and nobody was caring even to pick up the dead body. And that really shook me, absolutely. In 1829, Sati was banned by the British. But even though it was banned, it still happens in some areas. A temple was even built in the name of one such woman. Priest Ajay Tiwari guards the temple around the clock. People keep coming from far and near to visit the temple every day to get a glimpse. While women committing sati are considered goddesses, Living widows face widespread discrimination, says Dr. Geary. More than 16,000 of them settle in Vrindavan, secluded and obedient to customs relegated for widows. They wear white, cut their hair short, and eat only once a day. Many stay alive on bits of food and a few daily rupees they may get from singing. And those who can no longer sing resort to begging in the streets, living one day at a time. Haunted by the image of the dead body in the street and determined to help widows, Dr. Geary traveled the world, raising funds. In 2008, she built an ashram, or shelter for widows. What am I trying to achieve? To give dignity in death to these women, to give them a healthier life. Women are now totally empowered. The ashram, also located in Vrindavan, is home to some 500 widows, including Kamla, widowed for 40 years. It looks nice. We get to eat and drink. Everybody lives together here. And to raise awareness of the plight of widows worldwide, Dr. Geary and others appealed to the United Nations for 10 years. In 2010, the UN declared 23rd June as the International Day for Widows. For the whole world, so that this lot of widows who have been neglected so far can also come into some kind of a focus. But Dr. Geary says there's still one thing she must do. Change the mindset of man that they should not look down upon these widows. For now, Kamla is content on settling for inner peace and spending her final days at Dr. Giri's ashram. When I get sick and my hands and feet stop working, I will live and die here. This report was produced by Mary Ferreira for the United Nations.